Hi, it's me again, Doftro. Yes, and I'm trying to speak louder because the audio from the last video was crap. So yeah, I'm talking a little bit louder. So yes, I hope that you can capture what I'm saying because of the mask. It kind of gets a little bit caught up in the mask. So, and I'm trying just to make a, a, a faster video because the other one was 20 minutes long and it took a lot of time to render that freaking video. That's why it took uh, it took a lot of time. But to edit it was a uh, it wasn't that long because um, I'm trying to get caught up with the, the platform that I'm editing into. So let's go with the review. Okay. She Hulk episode. I watched it two times with my with myself and with a friend. And um, he had the same expectations as me because I, I love Hulk. And I, I think I share the same manners when I say that we expected more from Hulk from the MCU because. Uh, you know, if you ever watched like any uh, Hulk cartoon or the Edward Norton uh, Hulk movies, where he was more of a beast, a bestiality, a more of a aggressive monster, he's now more of a scientist himself because he, um, because of the, you know, because of the, um, anyway, because of the, the Professor Hulk thing. So he needs to be this way. He's a little bit more passive, of course, because it's Banner. Banner, it's a more pacifist guy. He's a scientist. So he, so Hulk isn't using his full force every time because he's not angry all the time. So he's just Banner with the muscular uh, seven feet body, and just just like this. So uh, I think it's even bigger than seven feet. I think it's like eight feet or something. Uh, because Hulk is a, is a big guy, and um, and She-Hulk, it's kind of the same, but I didn't know the orange story, so I was kind of... And because of all the backlashes that the, the trailer was getting, because they were saying, oh, the visual effects are trash, oh, they look like a puppet, something like this, and I was... I, I didn't like the first, uh, the first trailer at first point, so I was skeptical, to say the least, when the, the series was coming out, so I was like, Okay, let's wait for it because they do the, the post working later. Uh, if you don't remember Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie, they had uh, awful CGI, but it wasn't only the CGI, it was the whole design of Sonic. And then they changed that, which which I I believe that the internet can do good in changing um, some characters' uh, facial expressions or facial designs or the quality itself. So I was already... Um, I was already hoping that it was this would happen and thank god it happened because the episode itself was amazing the everything was good i think the other ones are gonna be a little more um focused on the story itself because this one was more of a backstory trying to explain who was the the she hulk who what did she do before the the accident how did she become the she hulk it's because she's the cousin for um, Bruce Banner, and then they suffer an accident with the Sakaar ship. Uh, if you remember Thor 3, they flee on the Sakaar ship. So this a similar ship comes to hunt down Banner, and they, they, they suffer an accident. And then after the accident, Hulk, which is a very thing they explained before. It's because Hulk, it's Professor Hulk now all the time after Avengers Endgame. But in Shang-Chi, I think it was in Shang-Chi, was Banner, like in the physical form, it was like, what happened with the with the Professor Hulk thing? He has a device when he's in his wrist that maintains him as a as a human person, and when he takes out, he transforms into Hulk. It's like he controlled his um, his Hulk appearance, but uh, now it's broken, and then he he kind of infected um, uh, his cousin with uh, her his cousin with uh, with his blood, and since they are like siblings and things like this, she she developed the Hulk thing inside of her and then she um, and then she gets captured by Banner because she tries to to hit some guys that are hitting on her and things like this so anyway over there he explains that oh he can control himself to become Hulk and things like this and she he wants to help her because she is now a danger because now she is a Hulk she has a Hulk now, so she if she gets angry all the time, she's going to become Hulk and then she can kill people, he, she can hurt innocent people, so he wants to train her to become a better person. And he also says that like he, he's going to take like 15 years to do like this, something like this. And then when we are developing the, the series, we discover that 
she she has a more uh <laughs> they get kind of confused also in the episode because she is like they they have all similarities with developing this gamma this gamma thing and then she can transform anytime she wants as a she hulk and herself she's conscious just like um professor hook i know this is a kind of script thing that uh oh it needs to make things easier for her or things like this and i get that but it worked i think but uh some people who are a little bit old heads they're gonna be like oh, oh my god i heard the the thing and the blah 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 but hey the i think the idea was good and uh, i don't know it kind of worked i i got that like i i believed in that so anyway they start the training they start doing meditation, they, they, there was a whole trailer, almost all of those scenes, these were the things that, that pissed me off, almost all of those training scenes, they appear already on, in other trailers, and the, and the quality of the, of the CGI was, I think it was almost perfect, like, I think the only thing that wasn't that good, in that part was like the, the motion thing on her, on, on their lips, because it wasn't that fluid, but I think it's, kind of I kind of peaky on that one because for me it was like a nine and a half out of ten like it was nearly perfect it was it was really really good and then after the training she got like she I need to come back to my life I cannot be a she hole like here I cannot be here for as as long as you want me to be because you know I'm already doing all this stuff I'm already controlling my powers I'm already doing all these things I need to go home they they kind of fight because they're trying to argue with them with themselves like she needs she wants for her to be there to control her anger because you know he has a lot of past with hulk so he's kind of traumatized with all of that so he needs her to be cautious with all of that even though she can control the she hulk they don't know like what are the ranges of their power like is there like a mode where like super angry and then you become totally berserk just like broly in the the dragon ball thing he 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 fights a lot but when he gets super strong he's uncontrollable like things like this it's a thing that he has a kind of uh kind of thing about her but anyway she she just flees and he he lets her to to go away and then the the post credit scene they always they they continue the discussion which is a very funny discussion which is like the captain america died as a virgin because he didn't have time to to you know have sex because he was also uh, always so busy and he was a skinny guy so he didn't have didn't know to how to approach women and how to have sex with them but then uh <laughs> and then she was like oh he's a it was a pity because he was such a beautiful guy and he didn't have like a, enough time to 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 get laid but then he explains that Steve Rogers told him that he he got he um he had a relationship with a girl in the in 1942 something like this and she and i was like captain america fun things like this so i think it was pretty funny the the humor was was great there was a lot of like four for all breaking things and i and i like that um i don't i don't like when it's too forced but it was it was super nice just like in that pool i love the episode the episode was the episode was amazing and I'm, I'm i'm willing to see more because there's daredevil on the on the app on the on the show so i would love to see that um and i hope the series continues uh, going as nice as it's going because um the action scenes they look nice like they did a cgi scene fighting between she hulk and hulk and it was just like in the like a movie it was super fluid it was amazing uh the fight scenes were great and and I think, yeah, I'll give like a 9 out of 10 on this episode, but uh, I don't like to rate so much episode. I like to see the whole the whole thing, but Disney uh, is doing this kind of uh, weekly sh uh, episodes, which is amazing. And so we need to rate all the, you need, I mean, all the, all the series. And I mean, it was amazing. And there was a lot of references also. There were references with the house that were staying in, in the in their island, which is, it was built by Banner and Tony Stark, which is, was a, which was a very nice detail. They, they tried to, to, to put the universe all together, saying like Tony Stark exists and uh, Bruce Banner exists and this whole universe exists. It's like a thing to, for us to care about this, 
this universe that they're creating in this show and uh, it's it looks amazing and yes i'm bringing a review about um about the the new show the house of dragons house of dragons i think is the is the name of the show from game of thrones i love game of thrones so uh I'm definitely gonna watch. I think I'm watching it tomorrow with my dad. Yeah, so I'll bring the review. I think I hope that's this week the the review is on, and um, and that's it. Like I love the show, and I and I hope to watch the other episodes of She Hulk, and that's it. I think I I hope I didn't forget something, but anyway, uh, that was the most important things to say. And thank you for watching, and peace.